A human mind and a computer share many similarities. First, let's go over the basics of a computer. Data stream to a computer via Wi-Fi with incoming data, uploaded to the hard drive, entered onto random access memory or RAM for immediate use, or sent to the microprocessor or CPU for integration and interpretation. Data go back and forth between the memory components and the microprocessor. Finally, work products and data are downloaded from the hard drive, RAM, or microprocessor. The hard drive and RAM are like a mind's memory abilities. The microprocessor is akin to the mental abilities related to understanding. Memory and understanding support each other. Committing things to memory is easier if they are understood, and understanding comes easier with accessible knowledge. Attention is like mental Wi-Fi that brings information from the senses into the mind via focus or concentration. Attention also manages mental output, such as sharing memories and thoughts. Now, let's dig a little deeper into each of these mental abilities. One aspect of attention tracks and handles information streaming into the mind, like mental Wi-Fi. The attention processing controls handle mental input. They do several important things like concentrating and focusing, resisting distractions, absorbing details, and shifting focus. Being distractible is similar to a device that has a streaming problem, such as intermittent or faded Wi-Fi signal. Long-term memory is the mind's hard drive because it handles storage of info and access of info after delays. Memorized material comes in many modalities, including visual and verbal. Academic work involves enormous long-term memory demands in terms of facts, terms, and procedures. Active working memory is the mind's RAM, where work is done with newly acquired information like task instructions or that is accessed from long-term memory. It is a mental space where info is manipulated or used, such as when solving mental math problems or recalling previously encountered details when reading. The mind's microprocessor comprises several abilities related to understanding. Applied reasoning is analyzing information and using logic to tackle new challenges and solve complex problems that require more than just retrieving something from memory. Conceptualization is about understanding major ideas and categorizing objects and ideas with critical features. For example, the concept of a mammal is defined by the features such as warm-bloodedness. Language captures both understanding and using verbal sounds, words, sentences, and discourse. It is the primary way that knowledge is transferred in classrooms. Receptive language is for input, such as reading and listening. Expressive language is for output, such as writing and speaking. Spatial ordering refers to nonverbal thinking, or without words. This includes interpreting and generating visual spatial materials like diagrams and artwork. Math and science have many ideas and processes that are nonverbal, such as area and gravity. The attention production controls handle the downloading of ideas and knowledge from the mind. Mental output includes writing, solving math or science problems, completing projects, and taking tests. These controls are in charge of inhibiting impulses, planning and organizing, pacing, and self-monitoring. This aspect of attention is akin to what have been called executive functions. They oversee decision-making, the operation of other mental abilities, and academic and behavioral output. This metaphor can help many learners better understand their mental abilities and how they work together. It can be particularly helpful for people with ADHD because it shows them how concentration problems or impulsivity can interfere with their other mental abilities, even when those abilities are strengths. For more practical psychology to enhance your life, check out psychbytes.com.